Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a minute, but your boy's back. It's your boy Nick Keenan. Keenan just felt like cooking. You know what's up. So I've been on a little hiatus. You know, it's uh, cold season. You know, when your kids are sick and you busting out a lot of OT, you be tired. But thankfully, I got a down wife that took care of the cooking for us and had some delicious meals set up. So we were, you know, we didn't miss no meals. We got our crunch on. But now it's time to get back on the smoker. Let me let you know what I got going today. So what I got here is some country style pork ribs. Right here they got them as country style strips. Costillas de puerco. Yeah. These bad boys is on point. Meaty, marbling. You know, be careful because you got a little bone in there. I think they just like slice down the shoulder or the butt or something like that. It says butt, so they get the uh, pork butt and just slice it into some strips. So don't think it's completely boneless and you cook it and then you go to bite and then you get some bone. That's bone right there. So we're going to get this bad boy in some smoke. This is a good piece of meat. You could do a variety of things with it. And I'm sure all those out there looking at it are coming up with ideas right now. But this is what I got. I got about a tablespoon of dry mustard, tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of onion powder. Uh, I got about... Uh, I think I used about, I think about a good half a tablespoon of black pepper because you don't want that black pepper to overpower your stuff. It could, it could kick in like flan sometime. Uh, I use about a tablespoon of parsley, tablespoon of some dobo and goyo we trust, of course. I use two tablespoons of garlic salt, a tablespoon of paprika, and to round it all off, since we're in the fall, it's holiday season. Thanksgiving coming up right after Halloween which is this week can't believe that and Christmas and all that I went ahead and add a pack of this spice cider mix I always wanted to do a rub with this for some pork I don't know why I just feel apples and pork go well together I think they even got a baby food pork and apples which actually is pretty good um, I tasted it when we our kids were little so I added one package of this to all these measurements that I just mentioned along with uh, two tablespoons of packed dark brown sugar so I'm gonna get this seasoned up we're gonna get it seasoned up nice let it sit a minute and get it on some smoke so as I'm trying to get my barbecue on I don't know why our area is home for stray cats uh, I don't know if you can see that one I ain't gonna roll up on it because it looks sick but uh, we already been through that. Cat was hanging around here. I got all attached to him. We ended up keeping it. And I uh, had him for about four or five years. Then he got sick and then we had to put him down. So I'm not dealing with no more stray cats. Anyway, got my new house shoes. Do we see those? Rocking my dad's shoes here with my dad's socks. So I'm getting this smoker together. <clears throat> The old backup, the charbroil, built in temp. You know how we run it. We're going to get up there 250, 260. I think that's probably 275. But anyway, I got my water in there already. Here is the pan. And this bad boy is getting seasoned up in there, man. It's looking good. I mean, look at that. Got a little patina going on. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this little thing up right here where you put your wood chips at. We're gonna bust out some of these uh, best of the West apple wood chips. These are, this is a good brand, I like this. I've used it uh, a few times. Nice sweet smoke, really compliments uh, pork and chicken. So I'm gonna get this loaded up, get it turned on, bring it up to temp, and uh, I'm gonna let you check out that meat that I seasoned. So this is that meat nicely seasoned been sitting uh got it sitting for about an hour hour and a half going on about two hours um let it sit out i let it sit out at room temp i mean it's seasoned uh the citric acid and stuff up in here is uh you know helps break that meat down you know this is the row of seasonings here i mentioned the measurements earlier and uh, I think this is really going to make be a game changer. Because you can smell it. 
you can smell a hint of the uh, apple in there. So I'm going to get this uh, put in a pan. I'm going to throw some butter in there with it at the bottom. And uh, so it doesn't stick or, you know, have any hot spots on the pan. You got to be prepared for anything that can happen. But what I'm noticing and what I like is this nice little fat cap right here. Yeah, that is that is going to be amazing. And as, like I mentioned before, be careful. I mean, some of these pieces are boneless, but as you can see, it got some bone in there. So, you know, if you're cooking it down, you're making your little burrito mix or taco mix, be careful of the bone. All right, so let's get this uh, loaded up and get it to smoking. Yeah, so we got these loaded up with a space in between the racks. And uh, it's going along good. Water's getting hot, steaming. We got the apple wood chips in there. You see, I got that filled up pretty thick because we want to get a lot of good smoke on here. So I don't want to lose no more heat. I'm going to shut this door and let them run and come check them in about an hour. You know, rocking my new dragon shirt. I like that. You know, I'm all into this stuff. You know, part nerd. It's all good. <laughs> so we're about 45 minutes in and I noticed that temp was getting a little getting a little high so I turned the dial down some uh, but I'm anxious to get a look oh yeah yeah that's looking good that's looking real good All right. so this is going to be one of the sides I'm going to put together got a can of these uh, Peruvian beans this bad boys is good um, they're yellow if you see them dry in the store. I got a diced up white onion, like one medium onion. And I got diced up half of yellow bell pepper. And then I'm just going to split this at the tip and put it in there. I'm not going to chop it up. So for my second side, I got these veggies. I got these white squash. I like these. They taste pretty, pretty good. I'm going to slice these bad boys up and then I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic salt quarter teaspoon of garlic salt, quarter teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon, actually a, a half a teaspoon of basil and a half a teaspoon of oregano. So you don't want too much of this stuff cause you, or anything because you want to taste the veggie. So I got these bad boys pulled. It's been about exactly two hours of cooking. There's the sides. We got the white zucchini seasoned up, studded with a little butter. Then I sprinkled it with some brown sugar. Then with them Peruvian beans, with the jalapenos, chopped onion, uh, chopped yellow bell pepper, some goya, and uh, sprinkled about about half a teaspoon, uh, half a tablespoon of garlic powder on there. But yeah, this meat is pulled. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and put them in this one because this pan is a little deeper. And uh, I'm going to pour this juice on top, put some butter in there, sprinkle a little bit of, actually I'm going to dress it with a little bit of dark corn syrup. Then I'm going to wrap them up and then I'm going to get everything back on the smoker. So since I've gotten word to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we done. Um, everything's ready. I came out here, who we running at? The temperature dropped. I mean, I added, when you add more water, I noticed when you add more water in the pan, the temperature drops but I came out here and took the foil off the meat as you can see get a little get it nice and tacky you know so it's just uh, nice and pretty nice and pretty them beans they got a little bubblage going on in there so I know they done and that squash is looking amazing so we got everything pulled that's these uh, Peruvian beans that I did. I didn't even saute up the veggies first. I wanted a little bite in there. I got some onion and yellow bell pepper and then I sliced up a jalapeno. I took the ribs and the seeds out so it wouldn't be too spicy. I want the kids to be able to eat some. And then we got this white squash that we seasoned up and uh, with some butter and then I sprinkled it. I added some butter in there and sprinkled it with a little brown sugar. Uh, tossed these up during the cooking process. They both been on the smoker for about two hours. Uh, while the meat was wrapped up like the last 30 minutes or so I took the foil off the meat so it can get a little color 
Um, they got some color, boy. That is, that is amazing. Smells amazing. Tastes amazing. All right. So what I'm about to do is hook up some street tacos real quick. I got these little tortillas here. Got it uh, at the grocery store. And they actually call it street taco tortillas. So we got some of these beans I got on here. I'm going to put some zucchini on there. I'm going to actually cut that. Yeah, let's cut that up. Let me take that over here and cut it. I mean, that would be kind of odd trying to fit that in your mouth. It would be funny, but it would be odd. So some of that zucchini, they nice, cooked through, still got a little bite. I like that. Here we go with some of this meat. A little street pork tacos with zucchini. That is amazing. Um, look, look at that. Look at that. That mm -hmm. is just fall apart tender. Mm -hmm. And it is hot, as you can't tell how I'm moving my finger. You know what? I'm just throwing that on there. So we hook that up. I don't even need no sauce. We don't even need no sauce. But what I do need is, that just look a little lopsided. So let's try one of these. Let's wipe this up. That looks, you know. Uh, so this is the one I'm, I am going to eat. Mm-hmm. That could very well be a burrito, a chimichanga, whatever. That same mix. I mean, who would have thought? Put some beans and some zucchini and some pork together and make a taco. This is amazing. This came out good. Now, as I continue to eat this, and my kids stand behind me off camera, touching me and bothering me. I'm going to go ahead and get it going. This is your boy Kenan. They hungry. We all hungry. Quick, easy cook. Something I put together with the uh, apple cider drink mix. Always wanted to do that on some pork. And it came out good. came out real good. So, give it a try. Check it out. You know, smoke everything. I put everything in the smoker. All, all three things are done in the smoker. It was just like a big oven with some wood in there. And it came out amazing. Total about, I don't know, about five hours of cooking. All together. And it came out good. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy Kenan. Just felt like cooking. One.